It's great to watch her work because she's figured out how to break down the script and beats and make this woman a three-dimensional woman. I kept a very detailed journal page by page on each scene. She was manic depressive, she had hypomanic episodes and what levels and what heightened levels she was at. Somehow, even though we jump around in this, in the shooting, as is often the case with shooting, she's able to calibrate where this woman is and somehow knows where Jane is at all throughout. So shooting out of sequence in the film, which you can shoot the end at the beginning, the beginning at the end, and then random pieces in half of one scene one day and the other half in a different country two months later. But I always had the journal that I could go back to. And there's the hepophobia. The what? Don't touch her. Oh. She doesn't like to be touched. I was very vigilant about it. We did odd twitches, like she just was always moving. I always wanted a body part moving, a foot, a pencil in the hand, trying to release energy like a pressure cooker. I learned so much from watching her work to see all the things that she does and the things that she cares about and the little bitty nuances that she adds to it. I don't know if you've heard, but we've pretty much come belly up. Touch 